Dear Jamil, throughout my 40 years of life, I've had the chance to be around some amazing people and do some amazing things. One of the things that sticks out the most to me is having the chance to observe you within your element as someone who has always been a servant to others. When I was younger, myself and my close friend Brian Bedford had the opportunity to learn a lot about life by watching you lead people at the George Bray Neighborhood Center in Racine, Wisconsin. I watched closely as you stood up for the people who were not able to stand up for themselves. As you stood up for voters' rights and gave everyone the feeling that their vote counted in the local and national polls. As you brought the future president to a small town and to the center. I do mention he was President Barack Obama, the first black president. As you mentored and guided young men from street ball players to the likes of Division I colleges and even some to the NBA. How you have never changed, no matter what people may say or think of you. I want to take this time to say thank you from me, and I want to say from the bottom of my heart, I love you, Dad. You've paved the way. You laid the foundation. I stand on your shoulders to lead the next generation. You are my hero. You are my inspiration. You are black history. <laughs>